I've used clean bore black magic cold blue with success. However, it seems to be no longer available. On my last Cabela's trip, I picked up a bottle of Birchwood KC Super Blue. The label suggested it would provide a dark finish on highly polished parts. I chose this little wrench as my test piece. I think these wrenches were designed for square head set screws. I used my coarse wire wheel to get off the worst of the corrosion. There were a couple of spots I couldn't reach, so I switched to my Dremel. Here's what the wrench looked like after the wire wheel and the Dremel. I noticed that the jaws were misshaped. I measured about 30 thousandths difference from the bottom of the jaws to the top. I used my vise and my Magdad muscle power to close up the jaws. I found that I had moved them a little too much. So I made some fine adjustments with a file. After the filing, the jaws measured up well. I didn't have a 7 16 square head set screw, but I did have a hex nut to test fit with. I used my belt sander to smooth out the forging lines. I used Scoutcrafter's wood block method on the wrench faces. Since there was no maker's mark, I felt free to remove as much material as necessary to clean up the wrench. I used my Dremel and a grinding stone to remove the forging lines inside the handle hoop. I found a grinding stone that fit the shape of the handle nicely. Eventually, I had to resort to hand sanding. Here's how the little wrench looked after a bunch of sanding through multiple grits. I used my Dremel and abrasive discs to smooth out the sanding marks. I'm at the point where I can't help myself anymore. I just flitz everything. Okay, time to try the Super Blue. I tried to follow the directions on the bottle closely. I cleaned the wrench thoroughly with denatured alcohol. When I thought I had it clean, I soaked a fresh paper towel and cleaned it again. I soaked the wrench in water and then dried it. I applied the super blue with a cotton ball. My understanding is the cold bluing solutions contain copper that plates itself to the iron in the steel. The solution also has selenium in it that darkens the copper. The solution is poisonous, so wear gloves, don't lick it or vape it, or soak your contacts in it. I counted off 30 seconds and dropped it back in the water to rinse. Here's the wrench after the first application of bluing. I applied a second coat with a new cotton ball. Here's the wrench after the second coat. I soaked the wrench in oil for 24 hours. I used non-detergent 30 weight, but I think any oil would be okay. Let's go back in time to what the little wrench looked like after the wire wheel. And here she is, polished and blued. I was happy with the darkness and evenness of the bluing, so I didn't buff the wrench with steel wool, as the directions said. There was one area on the handle that probably could have benefited from another coat. I think this test piece gives viewers a good idea of what to expect from this finish. Cold bluing is more of a cosmetic finish as opposed to a protective finish. 
I would recommend oiling or waxing the part to protect against corrosion. I think the Super Blue is a good option for parts that you don't want to be shiny polished steel but also don't want to or can't paint. A good example of this situation would be the rivets I made for my recent wall scraper project. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.